hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for clicking on today's video so guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about my pregnancy signs and symptoms and uh, some of the signs that i experienced that made me feel like i really really need this test so guys if you're new to my channel my name is maureen ashu i'm a food family and lifestyle vlogger i live in the uk i'm in nigeria thank you for clicking on today's video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always seeing always watching always being there always clicking on my video so guys yeah uh, first of all i want to say that this is my third pregnancy i have two kids kaima and obi and i'm going to also be telling you guys some of the signs i experienced that are a bit different from what i am experiencing now in this very pregnancy some of the ones i experienced in my first and second kids pregnancy that is a bit different I experienced was severe tiredness like I was on a weight loss journey I was always working out every morning but I noticed that after some days I started getting so tired most mornings I wake up and I won't even feel like you know working out I won't even feel like just doing anything I was just so weak like my body was weak I knew that I was just tired and I'll be like okay I'm so tired I can't work out today I'll try and work out tomorrow the tomorrow the, the same thing I'll be like oh no I can't do it today I just feel weak I feel tired I'm gonna do it the next day I was just so tired always tired and yeah that was the first sign I noticed and then the second sign you guys was severe headache I started having this migraine at first I thought it was because of my eyesight because I know that anytime I have like you know serious eye pains I start having severe headache so with the headache I didn't really think it was pregnancy I just thought it was because of my you know eye problems and yeah the headache was constant very early in the morning i'll just take paracetamol and i'll be like oh it's go down and all that the third thing i experienced was hunger i was just hungry all the time i wanted to eat something after eating i still wanted to eat something else after eating something else i still felt like i wanted to eat another thing i feel like between maybe uh, eight o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock in the afternoon in the uh, midday i would want to eat something like three or four times and that was just unlike me because i was on a weight loss journey i didn't really fancy food at that time but between those periods i started craving for more food more food and then sugary thing at first i'm like why am i taking taking sugary things so another thing i experienced why i'm saying all this is because in my first two kids i didn't notice all this immediately before i went for a test i already gone for a scan or gone for a test before i started noticing some of these things but this very one i noticed all the signs and that made me knew that i needed to you know go for a pregnancy test i needed to just have this test so that's why i'm really really you know pointing them out one after the other another thing i noticed very well was the cravings for sugar i wanted something sugary my mouth was sore i wanted to eat, you know eat something that has lots of pepper so a very spicy food so those were some of the signs i noticed then another thing that really made me knew that i needed this pregnancy test was the fact that i was always very hot like in my first two uh, pregnancies i experienced that i was always very 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 hot like someone that has you know high fever and then at a point after maybe some time i was feeling very cold like someone that you know catching serious cold constant heat constant cold and then constant sweating and constant cold i experienced that in my two other pregnancies this happened in a period of three weeks i just didn't want to go for a test i was just in total denial i thought i was just having normal flu that i was going to be fine another thing that really struck me that made me go for a pregnancy test was because i was trying to you know go on a smoothie challenge a workout smoothie challenge 
and I had gone to the supermarket, I had bought lots of fruits, I had bought lots of vegetables. I wanted to go on a seven day smoothie challenge, you guys. The first day, I wasn't just feeling like it. The first day, I'm like, oh, let me just take a rest. I'm going to do it the next day. The next day, I tried, but you guys, I wasn't just, you know, feeling it. I now tried to do some tummy exercises, which I used to do every morning. I just couldn't. Like, something kind of, I just couldn't. I felt like there was a little numb. On my tummy I tried to do like I think 10 uh, sit-ups 10 sit-ups I just couldn't at number four I was already in pains I was already feeling pains I just told myself that I can't do this I have to do it another day so with all those signs I had the soreness in my mouth I had you know the fact that I was the fact that I was craving for too much food the fact that I wanted to take a lot of sugary things, I wanted to drink coke, I wanted to drink Fanta, I wanted to take, you know, anything sweet I wanted, I just knew that I needed to go for a test. You've already seen the video on my pregnancy test, and yeah, I found out that I was pregnant, I'm so happy about it, I'm so excited, like the joy of, you know, just having another child, an addition to the family is something very very good i'm so sorry my little boy is here so you definitely hear his voice and see him pushing around this camera oh stop stop baby i'm so happy that i'm expecting another child i'm so happy that i'm going to have another addition to my family like we are growing this is going to be my third child and i'm just so happy about it. i'm so happy that um, it happened. God has given me the grace. Initially, I was so scared. How am I going to do this in this country with two kids already? How am I going to manage? And my little one was just one year and I think about six months then. In my first trimester, the lockdown was on. So it was a lot easier for me because I was always at home with the kids. Sometimes it's difficult to wake up in the morning and, you know, do things for them. But I still find the energy. I still try. Like, I push myself so much. I push myself so much to take care of them and, and I forgot to talk about the vomiting uh, in my first and uh, my second pregnancy I never vomited but with this one I was constantly vomiting constantly not feeling really good and then constantly craving for peppery thing it has to be spicy if it's not spicy I can't eat it so I was always you know taking peppery things pepper soup then rice you guys I have never craved for white rice all my life like this time i love to eat white rice it has to be white rice with stew or white rice with pepper soup or white rice with any other thing but i just love white rice and then the sudden crave for indomie is where what i don't know and i don't know where it's coming from all these cravings i didn't experience in my first two other kids and another thing you see you guys i keep bringing up things this video is totally not planned I didn't write out the things I wanted to say, so you guys should just forgive me. Another thing also in this pregnancy is the fact that I added all the weight I needed for this baby my first trimester. All the weight I needed is in my, was in my first trimester. I added about 20 pounds in my first trimester, you guys, because I was constantly eating. And not just, you know, eating light food, very heavy food. So I... I added all the weight I needed, like almost all the weight I needed. I added it in my first trimester. And you guys, yeah, it's almost similar to all my pregnancies. All my pregnancies, I think at 12 weeks, if you look at me as a pregnant woman at 12 weeks, you would think I'm all already in my 30 weeks. Like at two months, I'm already looking like someone that is at six months, six months pregnant. I'm always very very big so if you see me now right now I'm in my second trimester but when you look at me you think I'm about to pop like I'm about to you know put to bed but yeah that is my body it's not really different in my first and my second my first and my second they're just similar uh, when it comes to weight because I kind of add so much weight whenever I'm pregnant and um, But the amazing thing about this pregnancy is that in my second trimester like right now I'm in my second trimester the crave the cravings for food has really reduced it has really calmed down Which is unlike my first two my first two I eat very well I eat a lot like so much until I get to my third trimester But this one is a lot different because in my second trimester. I don't even feel like eating that much Unlike my first, my first trimester. And you guys, 
it's time to see the bomb so right now i'm in my second trimester and i actually look like i'm in my third trimester but no i'm actually in my second trimester so yeah my tummy is always very big so you guys should just take a look so this is what my baby bomb looks like this is what it looks like and right now i'm just in my second trimester so guys thank you so much for watching up till this point please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed be a part of my family and yeah like this video if you like it send the comments and end. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.